Well, here's Cheyenne, Wyoming. There's not a whole lot going on here. And this shit slaps, bro. Holy fuck. I feel like over the years they've made this city like nicer looking. It used to be like really shitty. It's actually like a really cool house for Wyoming, I feel. If you're wondering why this building right here is so nice, it's because it is. It's the uh, Capitol building of Wyoming. It's like the one building in the whole state that needs to be nice. And these people are getting their, uh, I'm gonna photobomb them on accident. They're getting their wedding pictures taken right here at the Capitol. That's cute. Room. I can. Okay, so I just need to take the scooter to the second railroad crossing on this road. And then I just set up and wait, camp out in some trees and wait for a train. This is the game plan. The air reeks of marijuana. I can smell it. I think it's probably those stoners over there. About as good of a spot as any. I'm just gonna literally just sit right here by this tree and just wait to get on something. Simple as that. Keep my scooter here. Well, the good thing about Wyoming is there's no fucking mosquitoes. Dude, I got eaten alive in New York and Illinois. Eaten alive, bro. All right, I was wrong. I'm getting eaten alive. Fuck. Well, I was so, so wrong, man. I'm getting eaten the fuck alive, man. I can't, I can't just stay there, bro. I gotta walk. There's the Capitol right there. And there's my rides. Come on, let's go. Get the show on the road. Under my my hammock, I'm like under it. I put it over myself. I'm sitting on the ground. And I think it's doing a pretty good job as a bug repellent. Not getting bit anymore. Oh, lightning. I'm chilling in my hammock still. It's been a hot minute since we got here. Hoping something comes through. I don't know though. Ladies and gentlemen, it is uh, time to get ready to rumble. I don't know where the fuck my water is. Oh, my water. Obviously not an ideal ride at all. I think this is the loud den, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I mean, this will work. It'll take me to Denver, so it'll be perfect. So ever since Chicago, I've just been paranoid about intermodals leaving me in the dust. So I got on like the first ride that the, yeah, the engineer couldn't see me get on. But this is like literally the shittiest intermodal ride I could have ever asked for. So bad. Okay, I had to take my shoes off because I lost my socks somewhere in, I don't even fucking know, New York or Chicago. That sign is on backwards. <laughs> it says car wash upside down. My toes and my feet are chafing because I don't have any socks. It's like the worst feeling, so I took my shoes off. There we are, we're leaving Cheyenne. We got a horse show up ahead. Cheyenne, lightning, rain, 
get out of here. We're gonna be going through Warren Air Force Base, and I'm gonna have to get down. There's a fucking Air Force Base here in Cheyenne that this train goes right directly through. I think it's safe to say we are through the Air Force Base and we're gonna go right to, um, to Fort Collins first to start off my old stomping grounds. Another semester or two, maybe three or four, we'll see. and then got on the train. Interesting.
get the joke yet. I'm literally butt ass, I'm butt ass naked on top of an intermodal. <laughs> <laughs> this is my city, bitch. My city. There's not a single soul out tonight.
that you can roof ride in Fort Collins and during the day. Every, everybody would see you. You'd have to get off the train and go somewhere quick. But it is dead tonight, man. Well, that's pretty much all for Collins. Oh, shit. <coughs> I'm trying to get to Denver tonight, so I, I don't... I'm not trying to get seen. If somebody does call me in, then whatever. Okay, there's a bridge coming up. I think. Or maybe not. Oh, I know, I think I'm still good, but I'm gonna get down. That was it. I hope that was... I, I, I had fun at least. <laughs> it was really fun. Still naked. Nobody to see me though, which is good.
stuff living here. got drenched with something like it's almost like somebody was like on an overpass and threw a bucket of water on me but I know that didn't happen because there wasn't any overpass and it's fucking 2 a.m. in the morning who would do that um, so the only explanation is is maybe rainwater came from the top of this and like splashed me maybe um, or maybe it fell from a tree somehow. I have no fucking idea. Or maybe the engineer up there tossed some water out and it somehow reached me four or five cars back, which doesn't make sense either. Because we're only going like 30 miles an hour. So I don't fucking know, but all I know is I'm soaked. I have my rain jacket on, but my pants are soaked. man how the fuck did I get on I forget how the fuck I got on damn holy fuck 17 miles per hour
Oh, now you decide to slow down, you fucking bitch. Dude, any faster than that. I'm getting a face full of that gravel. <laughs> that is insane. Holy shit. Wow. Oh, dude, fuck these shoes, man. They've done me well for the past few months, but fuck these, god damn. They smell like shit, they look like shit, and they hurt my feet on their have socks. All the things I don't want in a shoe. Mind you, that's not just a regular 17 mile per hour dismount. I got like a 30 kilogram backpack on and this is gravel. This isn't like regular ground. So safe to say that's, it's fucking hard. And fucked up. Deja vu. There she goes. I'd run in after it, but I'll let her go. Thank you for the ride. There's actually some cars. <laughs> 